Alright, uh, I'm Bailey Blankenship from Team 900. Today we're going to be unboxing our new beta version of the Robo Rio. Uh, here's the box. It's pretty sweet. Got some cardboard here. Got some stickers and some tape. Pretty standard. Alright, uh, we're going to take our samurai sword here and attempt to open this. Uh, alrighty. Alright, you know what? We're going to just we're gonna take this and we're going to open it. Alrighty. Cool. So here's the inside of the box. Pretty sweet. We got some uh, some paper here with uh, some good information about first robotics. Put that aside. Got some uh, nice purple uh, purple wrap here to protect our our goods. Some sticky stuff for all of your mounting needs. All right, and uh, we're gonna see what's inside here. So, uh, all right, so it looks like this is the power distribution board. All right. So it comes in this pretty sweet uh, purple plastic casing to, I guess, keep dust out or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to open this, but uh, all right, I guess we're gonna just cut it. All right, that's close enough. Okay. So yeah, here is our new power distribution board. Um, looks a lot like the old one, with the exception that it has a can connector now. Um, has a little bit of a different design. The plastic feels a little more sturdy than before. Um, but yeah, a little, little more heavy as well. Alright, so that's our power distribution board. Um, and then we have uh, the new pneumatics control module. Alrighty. So uh, I think this is the first pneumatics control model that first has ever made. Um, and. Uh, Pretty, pretty straightforward. Has a solenoid area and a, uh, yeah, I don't know. Look at it, it's pretty. Okay, next. All right, um, cool. Found some scissors, so that's good. Good news. Oh, yeah, safety first when using scissors. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to use scissors safely, but we're just gonna, just gonna open these. All right, um, okay. We have our, uh, our new voltage regulator module, so you can regulate all of the voltage your heart desires. It's pretty sweet looking. Okay. And uh, all of these have acronyms, by the way. We, I don't know if I mentioned that. It's called the VRM. Uh, this is the PCM. And this is the PDB. So, uh, yeah, if you're really into acronyms, there are a lot of new ones here for you. Okay. Now we're uh, going to get to the most important part of the box, obviously. Um, the Well, I thought this was just wires, but I think this is our new uh, motor controller. Uh, this is the Victor SP. Um, so as you can see, the wires are integrated now. So that's pretty cool. Um, and these also run on CAN, which is awesome. Nope, just kidding. Doesn't run on CAN. Never mind. All right. Runs on PWM, so that's cool too. All right, and this is the same thing. I'm not gonna open it, you know what it is. Okay, now to the actual thing. All right. So uh, we have some brown paper here. Uh, Pretty nice quality brown paper, actually. Uh, feels pretty sturdy. Um, I'm not sure how they rate brown paper, but I'd say if you were to give this a grade, it would uh, it'd rate pretty highly. So that's good. I'm glad uh, First is taking the time to uh, package things uh, carefully. Got some purple bubble wrap as well. And uh, inside this purple bubble wrap, I guess this may be more of a fuchsia. I don't know. All right, uh, here's the new Robo Rio. 
So uh, as you can see, they uh, integrated the uh, digital sidecar, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, and it also runs on CAN, so you can see the little CAN connector there. Uh, and it has a USB port now. Um, inside the Robo Rio, there is a dual core ARM Cortex A9, uh, clocking in at about 667 megahertz, which is pretty cool. Uh, it can do a little more processing this year. Um, and there's also a connector for custom electronics, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. Um, again, I'm Bailey Blankenship from Team 900. Uh, we will be doing videos over the season uh, explaining how this new stuff works, and uh, feel free to visit our website for any questions.